Hi, my name is Alex Fleischman, and welcome to the video overview of the freefall demonstration. Well, let's start with the problem. Five students are trying to figure out the final velocity of a baseball before it hits the ground when dropped directly three meters above the ground. The teacher has provided the students with a baseball and a stopwatch. How can the students calculate the baseball's final velocity? Well, let's start by creating a method for solving this problem, and the method can be either qualitative or quantitative. Alright, let's work through a simple algebraic derivation. If the baseball is not accelerating, how can we relate the final velocity of the baseball to the initial velocity of the baseball? Note, the baseball does not change its direction of motion. We could state that the final velocity of the baseball is equal to the initial velocity of the baseball. So if we look at the equation above, the units are in meters per second. If the baseball is accelerating, how can we mathematically relate acceleration in units of meters per second? Well, we could state that meters per second is actually equal to acceleration times time. This is because meters per second squared multiplied by seconds gives us meters per second. So the product of acceleration and time is the final velocity of an object accelerating over time t from an initial velocity of zero meters per second. So how can we calculate the final velocity, v final, of the baseball released with an initial velocity, v initial, and accelerating with a magnitude a over time t? Well, we could state that the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration of the baseball times time. This equation is known as the first kinematics equation. So let's return back to the given problem. The baseball is dropped from a set height. Therefore, the ball is released from rest. So V initial is equal to zero meters per second. So that means once released, the baseball is in free fall. Therefore, the acceleration of the baseball is equal to the acceleration due to gravity. So A is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared, which is equal to G. So if the baseball is released from rest at a set height, how can we calculate the final velocity of a baseball as a function of time? Well, we could state that the final velocity is equal to G times T. 